Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into the messages and see what comes out for you guys at this time, what you need to know and be aware of, okay? Holy Spirit, running angels, ancestors, spirit guides for your team. Please be with me through this reading for the Libra Collective. I pray no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please bless my hands, my intuition, and protect me as I channel the messages. I share amen. All right. Let's get into it, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. Summer rising Venus, North Node. Shuffling for Libra. Summer rising Venus, North Node. I'm hearing cancer placements. Some of you have cancer placements. something for Libra. There's something going on with your inner child, okay? Um, healing your inner child, playing with your inner child, talking to your inner child, okay? Some healing work that may need to be done here. Excuse me. Libra. Libra. So it looks like um you busy or you about to be busy. I think I said something in a recent reading about being booked and busy. All right. Or um, some of you could be a chef. Some of you could be like an influencer. I'm very, I'm seeing like um I'm hearing social media, social media climbing, social media charts. Um, something that you do in the public eye, like I said, you could be an influencer, you could be a, um, a baker or a chef, or you have like your own business or you're an entrepreneur, or you're very well liked, very well known, or you will be very popular. Um, people are going to start acknowledging you or noticing you more. Okay. I'm getting, you know, all eyes on you, like individuality. This is because of you being your true authentic self. All right. So I'm getting like, you don't care what nobody has to say about you. You gonna be, you gonna do you. You gonna be yourself, okay? Individuality and all eyes on you. You that, you you that, okay? You that one, Libra. You that one. All right. So and I feel like you um you're very focused on something at this time. You focused on your finances, your career. You on the grind, Libra. Okay. Um. Yeah, because you're on a mission. It's like you're on a mission to fill your cup. You're on a mission for abundance. You're on a mission for success. You're on a mission for happiness. You're on a mission for whatever it is, okay? Whatever it is that you have been manifesting. Look, abundance right after manifesting, honey. I can't. Yep. I feel like you, you could have been rejected from something or someone, maybe, um, some, maybe like a loan or a job or like some, uh, um, opportunity or some career path that you thought that you were going to take. It didn't work out how you expected or it didn't pop off like you expected. You could have been rejected a bunch of times, but I'm getting new opportunities coming in here for you. Okay. Some of you are going to be getting a chance to travel here. Okay. So, yeah, um, there's also some things I feel like letting go of some type of attachments, whether it's material, whether it's um, some type of person, place or thing, letting go of um, any type of negative or toxic attachments or anything that is, you know, maybe holding you back or keeping you um, stagnant or comfortable, keeping you complacent, letting go of any of that. It could be it could be just like energy around you that you need to let go of things that you need to let go of. OK, so. Yeah. Yeah, because you almost there. Look. <laughs> Finish line. You're you're almost there, Libra. 444 four, four could be significant. This is like keep going, okay? It's uh what is the saying? Like life is a 
a sprint, not a marathon or something like that. Um, you there there you may, you're almost there. Your time is coming is what I feel like. There are, are there was somebody before you that passed, you know, could have crossed the finish line. Maybe you're the first one, maybe you're the second, but just know that you're not the last, okay? And you um there there's even somebody coming up behind you and this could be you like mentoring someone, teaching someone something, someone learning from you, people looking up to you. Again, all eyes on you. There's something that you're doing or will be doing or have the capability to do um, that is going to inspire someone else to do the same thing, okay? Or going to inspire people to reach their goals and, you know, go on their journey and things like that. Okay. You have create. Okay. I'm hearing create a positive attitude, create a positive environment, a positive, happy space for you as well. So you may want to look into bringing in like crystals and more candles and things like that into your environment, whatever makes you feel peaceful or serene or positive, you know, whatever lifts your mood and lift, keeps you in high vibration, high energy. It's like incorporate more of those things here, okay? This is very interesting to me, this card. I like it because she has the little sticky notes on her mirror. And I don't know if you guys can see back there on the wall beside my picture, the little yellow thing. I got sticky notes too, so I just, I really, I like this card, okay? And this D says, I... D says, I choose courage. I am love. My voice matters and abundance finds me. I say, I say, I say. I say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, Libra. I like this for you guys. I like this for us. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Go ahead and like the... If you are claiming this energy, go ahead and hit that like button. All right, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, honey, so you don't miss these messages. Because I, I definitely feel like you're going to want to get these made messages, okay? Like, these upcoming months, you know, I feel like you're definitely going to want to get these messages. So, because there's been a lot about change, a lot about abundance, a lot about um, success and things like that coming through. And I feel like it's, it's you know... This is your time, you know. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to be courageous. Also, um, moving moving in silence. Mm -hmm. Moving in silence. All right. Somebody could be 28. Somebody's birthday could be October 17th. Um, October 2nd. Um, January 28th is what I'm hearing. So something about January 28th could be significant. I'm trying to say September 28th. Um, somebody could be 53. May the 3rd could be significant. May, I mean, uh, February the 8th, March 1st, or January 7th. <clears throat> February 28th, February 17th could be significant too. All right, so Libra. I'm here in May, June, July. So the next three months are going to be very significant for you, Libra. The next three months. May, June, July. Sovereignty. It's like you're at the top of your game. You're someone that's held in high honor. Like you, you that. I'm trying to tell you, Libra. You are that. Some of you are um, singers or like actresses or you do something in the arts, something creative. Yeah, solitude. I saw that on the split of this deck too. Yep, there it is. Solitude. Yeah, this again is just giving me like moving in silence. I'm also getting a lot about like meditating, oneness, connecting with the earth, your higher self, your higher powers that be, you know. Getting those messages, getting those downloads, taking that time to manifest and meditate and things like that. All right. Connecting with the higher sources here. What else? I'm hearing very lucrative, Libra. I'm hearing very lucrative. Rebirth. Some of you are coming out of that dark place. You're, you've gone through a change, a rebirth, a tough situation, something that could have been challenging for you. you I feel like you're coming out of that dark night of the soul. You're coming out of the darkness and you're reemerging. Okay. You made it. 
Look, I just said challenge, and there it is. Challenge. You playing chess, not checkers, okay? Compassion. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing some ooh la la going on with you, Libra. Make sure you are setting those healthy boundaries, though, okay? Yeah, I'm feeling like you're learning, um, you know, more about standing firm on your boundaries, how to set healthy boundaries. I feel like you're learning more about um, how to release certain things and how to, like, discern between things or people or situations that you need to let go of or that you may need to hold on to, okay? Um, I'm going to read this challenge card because I channel that challenging energy, that challenge energy, so... I'm going to read that. Somebody wears glasses. <clears throat> okay. It says, it is time to raise the bar. Rise up to the challenge at hand and see what it is and see what is in front of you as an opportunity to grow. Find people who challenge you Oh, my earring just came out. <laughs> Find people who challenge you when you when you aren't challenged, you'll get stale and stuck and won't move forward to your goals. I just said that about being too comfortable or being complacent. All right. There are many ways to face challenges. Look at employing tactics and carefully consider plans to remain focused. A good strategy will allow you to clearly prioritize and ensure you will reach your goals. You may find at this time that your plans are being opposed and you feel that people are in competition with you. While this may be true, you have the final say as to how you will conduct yourself during this time and what outlook you will have. Direct your energy into something constructive, creative. It is time to embrace your inner warrior and see that confrontation is sometimes needed. Check your energy when it comes to confrontations in your life. Are you going head first into things like a wrecking ball with little consideration for others? Or do you retreat from all confrontation even when standing up for yourself and others is needed? Okay. The affirmation for this card says, I am ready to go to the next level. Ashe. Amen. All right. Forget that. Um, da -da 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 -da. I want to pull some tea leaves for you guys. That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm out. All right, let's get tea leaves for Libra. I heard challenge accepted. Oh, before I do this, hold on. So I actually want to pull a card. Um, pull something for the next three months. Hold on. I need like a shelf or something for all my cards. <laughs> like, All right, tell me about the next three months for Libra. I'm going to pull a card for May, June, and July, okay? Tell me about the next three months for Libra, May, June, and July, 2024. Tell me about the next three months, May, June, July, 2024. I'm seeing a lot of protection, okay? Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel are here. So a lot of protection around you in the next three months. I feel like any endeavors that you choose to go on, um, whether that's in your love life, career, whatever, will be protected. Like you will be protected and watched over at all times, okay? Yeah. All right. Two more shuffle, guys. One more. Tell me about the next three months, May, June, July. For a week, I should pull from the top. I'm gonna just pull from the top. May, June, July. Okay, bottom of the deck says on track. So you are on track. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Confirmation. 
all right the <laughs> on track um the bottom of the deck so yeah that's that's good i feel like you're right on track everything is happening according to plan as it's supposed to happen and um you're headed in the right direction okay so this should be confirmation for someone okay so for May, you have the Queen of Forces, which is like the Queen of Swords energy, okay? I'm getting you are very much in control of all of your faculties. You're very much in control of your emotions, your um, environment. Like, you're in control, like night and day, okay? Like, you, she's, you know, she just looks like she has, it's balance. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Spirit. Balance, okay? It's things coming into balance for you. I feel like you're going to be able to handle anything that comes at you, even if, if it's something negative or somebody comes at you sideways or some situation falls through. I feel like you're going to be handling it with um, a lot of grace and a lot of class and things like that. Like, I feel like Things are just really going to start to come into perspective and made. Things are going to start balancing out. If they're, if things have been a little crazy, a little chaotic, a little draining, a little whatever, I feel like in May, things are really starting to come back into balance and into focus for you. Okay? So, let me... Um, let's see. They want, me to, they want me to tell you about challenges in May that you may, um, that you may come across. So I'm going to use the tea leaf deck, the what? Tea leaf deck <laughs> for that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just getting very controlled, like something about your energy is just very controlled it's very to the point as well like like that queen of swords energy like you know what you need to do you're going to know exactly what you need to do when you need to do it and you're going to be able to execute it with precision okay all right so let's see what challenges you might face in may what challenges might libra's face in may spirit what challenges all right so the reconciliation card flipped over but it flipped right back in so i feel like you're gonna have someone trying to reconcile with you <laughs> and i feel like you're gonna immediately push them away or cut them off like nope it's a no for me when i do that we're, we're moving forward not backwards amen all right so what challenges might leap of face in may spirit okay you have money coming in i don't feel like that's a challenge but we'll see it says a path with money is waiting for you to find it so again like i was saying very abundant opportunity new opportunities in may the opportunities are the opportunity to be very lucrative very abundant things working out in your favor all right your money your finances could be balancing out oh you got marriage okay these are like not bad challenges okay this marriage could be talking about a union i heard a civil union so you could be like making something official with someone even if it's not like marriage um like actual you know legal marriage you could be making something official with someone you may be moving in with someone you may be meeting someone new that you you know that may have the potential to flourish into something deeper okay um this may also be like merging um, or starting a new business or merging um, a business together or something like that. Like whether it's multiple businesses that you have or whether you're working with other people or working with someone else because it says a meeting with a stranger could be important. So, yeah, some of you, you may be meeting a new person and this could turn into like this could be a business relationship that turns into something deeper or it could just be one or the other okay all right don't be tempted to lower your standards and a change for the better so i see so there's good positive change coming in in may um you do have don't be tempted to lower your standards and again remember i was just saying like i'm hearing red flags so you know any just pay attention to any red flags that you see in any situation dealing with any person whatever okay also um I was saying, you know, there there may be 
you know, people trying to get under your skin and do 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 whatever, whatever. So it's just like, don't be tempted to, to go there with those people because where you're heading, they just can't, they can't come. And you don't even need to be, you know, messing with the bottom feeders. Okay. You just, you just don't. Okay. You're like a shark in the water and they're like the algae eating little things or the shrimp at the bottom of the boat or the the barnacles at the bottom of the boat. All right. You think the shark are going to stop to check what the barnacles on the bottom of the boat are doing? Like, no. So they don't even acknowledge them. Don't even know that they're there, you know? So, yeah, it's like that type of energy. <laughs> Dang. All right. Leave <laughs> and then I say protection. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah. A lot of protection. It's like a web of protection around you, like like I was just saying. All right, what else um, for Libra in May? Spirit, spiritual love. Oh 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 oh, I, a deep love. <laughs> All right, tell me about May. Okay, so parting of the ways in either business or romance. So. If you are married already, there may be a divorce happening. You know, maybe that's going to be finalized. For some of you, you're going to be walking away from like a business partnership or relationship and doing something on your own here. Whatever it is, it's going to make you happy. It says happiness and well-being here. So, yeah. I don't feel like you're too sad or disappointed about whatever this is that is um, falling apart. Okay. If anything, I feel like relief. Okay, what else in there? Yeah, so I was going to say Leo. Something to do with the fire sign could be significant. You got man on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, something to do with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Romance, celebration, and party. And you got somebody sneaky in your energy. Yeah, there's going to be some... <sighs> It's either like jealousy or like just somebody hating on you or it's like, it feels more something to do with like work or business. I feel like really you adventuring, you venturing out on your own and somebody is maybe upset or jealous or I don't know, but just, um, just know that there is the potential for I hear, I'm hearing rudeness, like rude comments or things like that. And people just maybe making rude comments about the things that you're doing. But again, I feel like it's kind of like out of jealousy or, you know, whatever. Who cares about those people? Because everything else looks great. Okay. So just keep doing you, Libra. All right. So for June, you have the King of Scrolls. And I'm getting information. So you may be waiting, like, yeah, I'm getting information. I'm getting, like, plans finalized. You may be signing some type of contracts. Um, this could be, again, in business. I feel like you, you're going to be very business-oriented and focused um, over the next three months, okay? Um, this feels like planning something out, maybe a blueprint. Somebody could even be, because I'm getting, like, surveying the land, so somebody could even be, like, um, buying land, getting a home built, getting like blueprints for that home or something like that. Um, garden could be significant. You may, you know, something about flowers. I'm getting like something like you're waiting on something, something about something being finalized or putting the finishing touches on something. Yeah, because I'm here wrapping it up. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> they're like, tell them about the challenges. I'm going to tell them. I actually want to read this card. Just to take a look at it and see what it says. Okay. 
Okay, so this represents a, a man. Remember that I said man and somebody coming into your life or somebody you're meeting or maybe you're something, um, some connection getting deeper that you already are in, okay? It says this man, rep this man may be present in your life already. If not, you'll be meeting him soon. He may be an author, teacher, or communicator who will assist you in some professional way. He could also be a friend who brings wisdom through his own studies and spiritual practices. Be open to the guidance this man offers for it could help lead your life in, excite, in an exciting new direction. As with any of the king and queens, the king of scrolls may also be a new love interest for you or for another, depending upon his location and spread. His wisdom is compelling and there are likely to be many interesting and lively discussions. This card may also represent you or someone you know who is longing for a deeper understanding and great clarity and thought. Now is a great time to pursue new interests, perhaps even enroll in some classes or attend a lecture or two. A position in teaching, counseling, advertising, writing, publishing, or the like may be on the agenda now. A treasure treasure trove of discovery is waiting for you. So let your mind and your life soar. Okay. Um, let's see. Challenges for June. said something about january january is here this person's birthday could be in january whoever this person is and like i said for some of you it could be a love interest for some of you it's a business partner for some of you it's both all righty challenges for june what is Libra needs to know about June, Sherry. What does Libra need to know about June? Mm. What does Libra need to know about June? I am seeing, um, says an arrogant or boastful person that you should not cross. Somebody got a whole, or got an attitude. You got great happiness out here. You had a two-faced friend and good, great fortune that's, that jumped over here on top of the May. So I feel like, remember I was saying something about a person that was jealous or whatever, whatever. You got a two-faced friend and, and that came out with a uh, great, good fortune. So I feel like that could be this arrogant boastful person as well but you still happy living your life Libra you're not still you don't care about whatever this is okay um you it may be frustrating and upsetting for you but I don't feel like you're gonna be letting anybody or anything get up under your skin or or you know derail you in any type of way okay because I feel like you're very focused again so um you do have birth or conception of a child or a new enterprise so again I feel like you're very business minded okay very much focused on the bag and um somebody, somebody could also be having a child or starting a new business or, or you're or you're still developing your business like i said getting to the final stages wrapping it up getting ready to launch something okay yeah a goal-oriented person yeah because you have a target in mind you got a goal in mind and you know what you plan on doing this he even looks like he's very focused like he knows what he needs to do. He's just trying to map it out and, and figure out exactly how, you know, he wants to, um, uh, what's the, I had the word on the tip of my tongue, execute his plans. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Look at that. Recognition, reward for merit. I was saying that. All right. What else for June? All right, you have someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Someone may be in need of assistance or a helping hand. And then you have, again, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Some of you may be finding out that you were pregnant in June or that somebody close to you is pregnant. Um, somebody, um, I feel like, too, somebody that you're not dealing with anymore, they're going to need your help or they're going to ask for some type of help or assistance, okay? Some of you again may be ending some type of bit, some type of business friendship, 
relationship or something, okay? Now, this could be talking about, like, a physical um, death, but I hope not. But I'm just going to put that out there. It feels more like the end of, like, you know, some situation that you need to get out of. All right, deal is our relationship with a younger woman. Something about a younger woman is significant. You got a diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay. You also have... <laughs> News is on the way about um, a money, money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. So you got money coming in. And I feel like this is May. For some of you, it's May. For some of you, it's June. Okay. Now for July, I'm getting to check your ego at the door. This says um, views of the ego. I also feel like this is kind of taking a really hard look at yourself um, and kind of seeing where you've come from, okay? It's like, this card is really the energy of someone not seeing, like being very egotistical, somebody not seeing, you know, any and anything and anybody else around them, not caring about anything and anybody else around them being very selfish, okay? But I'm getting more of the energy of more of your ego mindset being, you know, falling away or being stripped away. Um, yeah, it's like, I just heard, um, the weekend, I see nobody, nobody but you, I'm never confused, hey, hey. This could be a love situation for some of you. This could be a this could even be like a person around you. Also, what I'm getting to is about this man that may be coming into your life. This person may develop some type of like ego. Like, especially if they help you do something, they may feel kind of entitled to whatever it is that you got going on or this is the type of person that'll be like but i did this this and this for you or if it wasn't for me you wouldn't have xyz like that type of energy i'm picking up on as well hmm okay let's get to the tea leaf deck <laughs> Tell me about June. Yeah, for some of you, this could be an older man. This person could be older than you. Or something about an older man. This could even be like a father figure, a grandpa, an uncle, an older person that you're dating. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm here an institution. Okay, tell me about June. Mm -hmm. Tell me about June for Libra. Tell me about June. Ooh, doing something risky, taking a chance. Um, some of you may be traveling, so be careful. Like when traveling, or you may be traveling for the first time, and you may be nervous. Cause I'm hearing um about to catch another flight. Dun, 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 dun. I just want to have a good time. So um yeah. You might be catching a flight for somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about June. <laughs> tell me about June. <laughs> yeah, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Yeah, somebody's bullheaded, pigheaded, stubborn, a bully, an asshole. Like, yeah. Whoever this person, I don't even feel like this is you. This is somebody in your energy. Like, whoever this person, could be dealing with a cancer. Or, you know, this is just taking place around cancer season, Gemini season. But, um, or could be a cancer or a Gemini. But, yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yeah, it's like, I just want to have a good time. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Somebody's like trying to you know, dull your shine or they mad because you want to have a good time or something like that. Or I'm hearing somebody like, I made you or, ew. 
That energy suck. Okay. Mm. Increase in material wealth or, spirit or spiritual growth. And again, this, this doesn't have to be this person to help you out with something. I, um, that's just the energy I was getting. But I definitely feel like it's like a masculine energy for sure. Um, but you got a lot of good stuff here. Okay. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. So your material wealth is still going to be increasing. Your spiritual growth is still going to be happening. Okay. Some of you may gotta you know <laughs> people think that just because you're healing or because you're spiritual then that means that you won't cuss them out or even slap a hoe but you know sometimes it's a process you, you're still growing you're still learning so you know it's like don't test me i'm loving light over here but you know shit I can get dark and gangster real quick. You know what I'm saying? We can go zero to 100 real quick or we can just keep it chill. What you want to do? So it might be like that type of energy. Okay, but you have excitement coming out here. Like I said, you got good stuff. It's just people trying to step on your toes, throw your shine, trying to get you in that low, low vibrational negative energy because they're miserable. Misery loves company. Look, someone trying to come in between you and a friend or something that you want. Somebody's just trying to get in your way. You're trying to celebrate and have a good time and somebody is just... <sighs> Alright, whatever. What else for June? <laughs> I just want to have a good time. For some of you, this may be an ex. They don't want to see you doing good. They don't want to see you with nobody else. They don't want to see you doing well. They don't want to see you happy and prosperous. None of that shit. But guess what? Too bad, so sad. Happiness is out here. Psychic ability, trust your intuition in October. Some of you are October Libras. This some this could um have something to do with the fall. This could have something to do with a Scorpio or another Libra. Alright, take it how it resonates. I feel like you're you're very intuitive. You know what's going on. You know how you need to move. Yeah. About to catch another plane. <clears throat> Great personal sorrow. Somebody sad. There's some sadness here. Some tears. Y'all see that, right? The heck? <laughs> okay. You have woman dealing with a relationship with a woman. Um, protected from negative forces behind your behind your control, a wish granted, and involvement with the law. So I feel like if you have some type of law situation going on, I heard law degree, somebody may be working on their law degree or like a, uh, a telemarketer. Somebody may be a telemarketer or a telesales or something like that. But um, or somebody works on like communications. Um, that's not what I was about to say. I keep hearing degree. A law degree or like a paralegal or something like that okay or if you have something um in the courts or if you have like some type of law thing going on some type of um whatever y'all know what i'm trying to say <laughs> some type of um legal situation is what i'm trying to say i feel like you're protected your wish is going to be granted i feel like this may um go in your favor and whoever this person is that's sitting up in this ego ass energy just gonna have to cry about it and move the fuck on with their life or not whatever that's not really a concern whatever they do with their life but i feel like it's you're good you're good libra all right let me read this re views of the ego real quick <clears throat> you're good all right, it says that this card shows that there may be a thoughtless, selfish person in your life, whether in a love, friendship, family or business relationship. This person is self-absorbed and makes plans only in terms of how they affect him or her. You may have lingered too long, repeatedly giving to this person, even though you haven't received much in return. You tolerated their dis this dismissiveness because you kept hoping things would get better or perhaps you were too afraid to step away. You are called now to be aware. This person is unlikely to change and you may be delaying the inevitable. 
Take an honest look in your mirror and see how staying in this relationship affects your future. Period. Yep. So with that being said, I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and read the Queen of Forces too. Since we read the other cards. So I feel like y'all need to hear that message. Because this is about you. Okay. Queen of Fool says... It says, sometimes this card can represent a person in your life, either you or another, coming into a phase of great power and an ability to sustain it with wonderful results. There is a gift of grace and serene understanding when this card is upright. It also brings new roles and opportunities. Careers in many of the science, global communication, nature, and energy may be available to you. The Queen of Forces could also indicate the appearance of a possible love interest or an associate in business or in a creative project who has powerful influence and connections for you or for another. It may be someone you know or somebody brand new, but when this happens, when this card appears, <laughs> there's a tender yet powerful support. During this time, choose to support yourself as well. You hold the forces of the sun, creativity, and the moon, receptivity, and only you yourself can direct the energy of your eternal life. Yeah, so... I do want to say that um, with that being said about, you know, this person helping you and supporting you and things like that, it's kind of, it's like when you get into a relationship, when it said, um, you know, during this time, choose to, choose to support yourself as well. It's like when you get into a relationship and you're, your person is doing everything, taking care of all the bills and literally whatnot, and then you are relying upon this person so that if and when things don't work out you leave you don't really have anything because this person was you know giving you everything it's like they always say have some money on the side have your own income and things like that so it's kind of like that type of energy but you can apply it to whatever area if it's in your life okay all right so i'm gonna leave the message here i hope this helped gave somebody the truth clarity and confirmation that you may have needed and if you guys are um, want to get a deeper understanding of how this fits in your life, you can book a reading with me. <laughs> the information is below and I will see you guys in the next reading. All right. 